Also, you should know that set items can be of any type of data, like string, integers, booleans, and many more. You can place any type of data inside the set. Let's see that. We just created three sets. The first one is called set1 and it has three items of strings data types in between the curly brackets of the set. We placed banana, lemon and apple inside the set called set1 and we separated them using comma as you can see. Then we created another set called set2 and it has four items of integer data types. 1, 2, 3, 4 and we separated them also using comma and surrounded by curly braces as you can see. This is the main syntax or shape for set in Python programming language. And after that we created another set called set3 and it has boolean values. False, true and false and we separated them using comma and surrounded by curly braces as you can see. And as you can see, these are different types of data, string, integers, booleans, and you can place any type of data you want. And also you can place multiple items of different data types within one set, and for instance, In this case, we just created a set called new set and it has boolean, string, integer and the floating point number inside this set. And as you can see, it's available. No errors here. Also, there is another way to create a set in Python programming language using the set constructor or the set built-in method or function from the Python standard library. Let me show you this method. Here we have created the fruit set using the set built in method and make sure to put the items inside double round brackets. This way works without any problems or errors as you can see. Now let's talk about how to access items from a set. Simply you can't access items in a set by referring to an index number or a key because sets are unindexed. But you can loop through the items of the set using a for loop. Also you can ask if a specified value is present in a set or not by using the in keyword. 